Hey guys, JB here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to talk about Rawlings' three major series of gloves and look at the differences between them to maybe help you decide which one is right for you. So we're going to be discussing the Heart of the Hide versus the Pro Preferred versus the Go Glove. Let's start first with the Heart of the Hide. The Heart of the Hide has been around the longest. It's an excellent leather for um, a baseball glove. It's very strong and durable um, and very flexible as well. What I've found in Heart of the Hide is they break in quicker than the Pro Preferreds or the Gold Gloves and they become, I think, even more responsive to your hand. You can really get a good feel for the leather and the ball in the pocket and a lot of flexibility with the heart of the guy, the heart of the hide glove <clears throat> breaks in pretty quicker, pretty much quicker than the uh, the pro preferred or the, the gold glove. So this is my gamer for short. I really like it because it's lighter. It is lighter than the other gloves and I like a, a lighter more responsive flexible glove for infield um, so that's really a big a big factor in the difference between the two lighter and more flexible with the heart of the hide but because it's more flexible it also will break down quicker and become floppier you know some guys like a really floppy glove so that that could be a big plus for you. Personally, I don't like it to be too floppy. I like the flexibility um, in the infield, but I don't like a floppy glove either. So the heart of the highs, I can usually go for maybe two seasons, perhaps three, um, and I need to, to move on to another glove. They also require more conditioning. They, the, the leather tends to dry out a little faster. It's a it's a coarser level le leather than the other two to the touch. It's not as smooth, um, uh, not as luxurious a feel as you'll get on the Pro Preferred or the Gold Glove. So it's a more kind of a more rugged feeling glove to me overall. A couple of other things to mention: the uh, lacing on all these three gloves is the same so that's not a differentiating factor they all have excellent Tennessee tan lacing um, thick really strong uh, but they do differ in some other areas the inside palm on the heart of the hide is a cowhide lining on the palm so again it's a little bit coarser not as smooth as the uh, the Pro Preferred or the Gold Glove. And the lining of the wrist is different. <clears throat> it's a, uh, as you can see here, it's a synthetic, Rawlings calls it thermoformed pad. Whereas on the Pro Preferred or the Gold Glove, you'll get a, a, as you'll see, you'll get a wool lining. So if that makes a difference to you. Some guys don't really like the wool lining. They feel like their, their hand sweats a little bit too much and they really like the, 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 um, thermoform pad. So a nice glove. Um, I've worn a lot of these. They've all, always worked well for me. Um, light, flexible, very responsive. Now the other thing to to consider in Heart of the Hide comes into play with the cosmetics. If you're into a lot of the new colors that you'll see in gloves today, um, Heart of the Hide offers more options for that kind of flashy look. Um, <clears throat> in fact, if you go in on Rawlings custom design tool, if you're going to custom design a glove, you can have a choice of 18 different leather colors with Heart of the Hide. Whereas Pro Preferred, you'd get eight color different possible choices. And on the Gold Glove, you only have one choice, Mocha. That's all you get. So, if um, if that's important to you, Heart of the Hide would be a good way to go there. So, but overall, you know, this is the tried and true 
glove that's been out there the longest and um, used by a lot of uh, major leaguers today. So let's move on now to the Pro Preferred. Now the biggest difference in going from Heart of the Hide to Pro Preferred is the leather. Uh, this is now a Kip leather, Rawlings Kip leather, which is a more luxurious kind of feel to it, uh, smoother, um, a tighter grain. The fingers are more padded, so you'll you'll feel uh, kind of have a thicker feel to the glove. It will take a little longer to break in. Um, still not too long. This took me about, oh, I'd say about a week to get close to game ready. And it will retain its shape longer. It's not going to be quite as flexible, uh, quite as responsive as the heart of the hide leather. Um, but, you know, it will, be a, it will retain its shape longer and, and have a firmer feel to it, which is what I like. I like to use this. This I use uh, for both pitching and infield during practice. So I use this as my practice glove, and it saves my, my gamers um, the wear and tear of my gamers. So really luxurious, nice, soft feel to the, uh, the Pro Preferred line. Now, a couple of the other differences... Uh, I point out uh, again the the wrist lining is wool as a, as opposed to the um, the thermoformed lining. But one thing to note is if you're designing a custom custom glove and you're designing a pro preferred, you can choose to get the the thermoformed wrist lining, which a lot of guys prefer. On the custom design tool. The uh, palm lining on the Pro Preferred is sheepskin as as opposed to the cowhide on the uh, heart of the hide. So the sheepskin is a little softer, a little smoother, uh, kind of more, more luxurious uh, feel to it, um, but also firm as well. And, and again, the glove overall, it's just, it's going to Keep its shape um, over time longer than the Pro Preferred. Now a firmer overall, smoother, um, softer feel to it, if that's what you're looking for out of a glove. I like that in, in a pitcher's glove, not so much in, in an infielder's glove. Now, moving on to what is now Rawlings' top of the line. In red, before I do that, I should mention, as I said earlier, just to reinforce, you've got limited number of colors to choose from in the Pro Preferred. You have eight colors to choose from on the custom design tool, whereas the part of the hide gives you 18. Um, <clears throat> so moving on now to the top of the line, which is Rawlings Gold Glove. Um, here you've only got one choice, which is a mocha color and what's interesting is the glove leather of the gold glove is the exact same leather used in the pro preferred is that Rawlings Kip leather so it's the same kind of padded um, fingers a smoother feel more, more luxurious a tighter grain so no difference in the leather quality at all between pro preferred and and uh, gold glove. So what do you get for gold glove? Well, a couple of things that are unique to the gold glove. Um, one is the lining on the gold glove is a calfskin. So that uh, it's hard to really feel the difference too much between the calfskin and the um, and the sheepskin on the Pro Preferred. They're both really smooth, really nice, uh, soft feel to them, but sturdy. And uh, just give you, a, when you put your hand in these gloves, it's just a really nice feel and <clears throat> different from the feel of a hard to hide, which is more of a rugged kind of a feel to it. Um, one other difference is the, um, the patch on the 
Go Glove has, it's, it's a traditional white on scarlet colors, but it has this gold outline, which is unique to the Go Glove series. <clears throat> All the gloves are trimmed in gold with the gold um, stitching, uh, gold embroidery, gold um, stamping as well. The other unique thing about the um, Gold Glove series is all the gloves are individually handcrafted and have their own serial number, which has a date code and the initials of the, the craftsman, which is kind of cool. The, um, the series overall is kind of hard to find, even on Rowling's website. You have to... Uh, hunt for it a little bit to, to find and it's it's very limited they only have about maybe four or five patterns available at any point in in time um, but it, it, it is a really really nice glove the other thing I point out on these gloves which makes them more unique is the hand sewn welting on the pinky and on the uh, Thumb, which is a really nice touch. It adds a little bit to the comfort um, and also cosmetically is a, is a sharp look. So, but again, only one color option, um, which is the bad news. The good news, it's a really, really nice color, that mocha color, especially with the gold uh, trim, really pops really nicely on that mocha background. So, what do you get for the top of the line gold glove? You get some exclusive cosmetics, a little better lining, uh, and just kind of the, the pride of ownership, I guess, in, in owning a top-of-the-line top product. Um, this, for me, is my gamer for pitching. It's just an excellent size and weight. Again, a little heavier than, than the Heart of the Hide, the Pro Preferreds, and Gold Gloves will have a little more heft to them, but still not a heavy glove by any means, and just a really nice glove. When you put your hand in this glove, you just feel like, you know, you can, you're going to take your game to the next level to the extent a glove can do that for you. So that's it, guys. Those are the differences between the three. I hope this has helped um, if you're looking for a glove. If you've got any questions, at all please enter them in the comments I will get back to you any questions about these three series or anything about gloves be glad to to help you out so in the meantime please uh, keep safe stand straight and uh, please stay tuned for more to come